The Brave Little Parrot Source Buddhist Legend Rafe Martin's Adaptation Once, long ago, the Buddha was born as a little parrot. One day, a storm fell upon his forest home. Lightning flashed, thunder crashed, and a dead tree, struck by lightning, brushed into flames. Sparks left on the wind, and soon the forest was on fire. Terrified animals ran wildly in every direction, seeking safety from the flames and smoke. Fire! Fire! cried the little parrot to the river. Flapping his wings, he flung himself out into the fury of the storm and rising higher, flew towards the safety of the river. But as he flew, he could see that many animals were trapped, surrounded by the flames below with no chance of escape. Suddenly, a desperate idea, a way to save them came to him. He darted to the river, dipped himself in the water and flew back over the now raging fire. The heat rising up from the burning forest was like the heat of an oven. The thick smoke made breathing almost unbearable. The walls of frame shot up on one side and then the other. Crackling flames leapt before him. Twisting and turning through the mad maze of fire, the little parrot flew bravely on. At last, when he was over the center of the forest, he shook his wings and released the few drops of water, which still clung to his feathers. Tiny drops tumbled down like the jewel into the heart of the blaze and vanished with a hiss. Then, the little parrot once more flew back through the flames and smoke to the river, dipped himself in cool water and flew back again over the burning forest. Back and forth he flew, time and time again, from the river to the forest, from the burning forest to the river. His feathers were charred. His feet was scorched. His lungs ached. His eyes, stung by smoke, turned red as coals. His mind spun dizzily as the spinning sparks, but still, the parrot flew on. At this time, some of the devas, gods of a happy realm, were floating overhead in their cloud palaces of ivory and gold. They happened to look down, and they saw the little parrot flying among the flames. They pointed at him with perfect hands. Between mouthfuls of honey-yelled fool, they exclaimed, Look at that foolish bird. He's trying to put out a raging forest fire with a few sprinkles of water. How absurd! And they laughed. But one of those gods, stra strangely moved, changed himself into a golden eagle and flew down, down towards the little parrot's fiery path. The little parrot was just nearing the flames again when the great eagle with eyes like molten golden appeared at his side. Go back, little bird said the eagle of solemn and majestic voice. Your task is hopeless. A few drops of water can't put out a forest fire. Seize now and save yourself, before it is too late. But the little parrot only continued to fly on through the smoke and flames. He could hear the great eagle flying above him and as the heat grew, f grew hotter, calling out, Stop, foolish little parrot, save yourself, save yourself. I don't need a great signing eagle, coughed the little parrot, to give me advice like that. My own mother, the dear bird, 
might have told me such things long ago. Advice. I don't need advice. I just need someone help. And the god who was the great eagle seeing the little parrot flying through the flames thought suddenly of his own privileged kind. He could see them high up above. There, they were the carefree gods laughing and talking, while many animals cried out in pain and fear from the flames below. And he grew ashamed. Then, one single desire kindled in his heart. God though he was, he just wanted to be like the brave little parrot and to help. I will help, he exclaimed, and flushed with these new feelings, he began to weep. Stream after stream of sparkling tears poured from his eyes. Wave upon wave they washed down like cooling rain upon the fire, upon the forest, upon the animals and upon the little parrot himself. The flames died down and the smoke began to clear. The little parrot, washed and bright, rocketed about the sky laughing for joy. Now that's more like it, he exclaimed. The eagle's tear dripped from burned branches, smoke rose up from the scorched earth. Miraculously, where those tears glistened, new life pushed forth, fresh shoots, steam and leaves. Green grass pushed up from among still glowing cleaners. Where the teardrops sparkled on the parrot's wing, new feathers grow. Red feathers, green feathers, yellow feathers, such bright colors, such a handsome bird. All the animals looked at one another in amazement. They were whole and well. Not one can be harmed. Up above in the blue sky they could see their brave friend and he was looping and soaring in delight. When all hope was gone, somehow he saved them. Hurrah! they cried. Hooray for the brave parrot and for the miraculous rain.